So a lot of people that live in that building, a lot of business on the first floor. And you know, I just got worried about kids and stuff like that. And hopefully everybody that came out of that building is okay. We begin with developing news. Two people injured when fire tears through a Springfield apartment building. I'm Dave Matson. Good to have you with us on this Tuesday. The two alarm fire at 306 Belmont Avenue this afternoon burned for hours as residents and neighbors looked on in disbelief. Washington Mass News reporter Jeff Kramer live at the scene with the latest tonight. Jeff. Well, Dave, take a look behind me. You can still see crews remain here on scene on Belmont Avenue hours after that fire first broke out. Now, I just spoke with an American Red Cross worker who told us they are helping all of the families who lived inside. They are staying at a local hotel tonight. I looked out my window. I live on this street right here. And I looked out the window and I see a bunch of flames coming right out of the building. Flames shooting out of 306 Belmont Avenue in Springfield Tuesday afternoon as fire crews aggressively try to salvage the building. I really know a family that lives in the fourth floor. They are okay. They were on Facebook a little while ago talking about the fire. So they're okay. We text them and make sure they were okay. Fire officials say two people were taken to the hospital for smoke inhalation. The people who live inside the eight apartments are without a home. And at one point, firefighters were breaking windows to douse the flames. It breaks my heart. It, it makes me just want to rush in there, you know? They can can't really say nothing because I feel bad for the people who live there. As neighbors looked on, fire officials say it spread to 298 Belmont, the building next door. We're told all residents of the four apartments inside there are displaced as well. Yeah, very scary. Just because I'm over here all the time, you know, going to the store or whatever. The smoke so intense it could be seen billowing over the city from our Springfield Skycam. Now, right now, there is no cause of what started this fire, but the Springfield Arson and Bomb Squad is investigating. Again, right now, we do not know exactly how many people lived in both of those apartments. We are live in Springfield tonight. Jeff Kramer, Western Mass News.